Good afternoon from the Ticket and Transportation Center parking lot. We're headed into Magic Kingdom again. Gonna have some fun today. I think I'm gonna get on Jungle Cruise, probably do like Dumbo, maybe do a Magic Carpets of Aladdin. And then we're gonna head over to Tom Sawyer Island because we just did a live show where we talked about Tom Sawyer's Island and some people didn't know that it was there. So I wanted to go over there and kind of show you guys around a little bit. It's a pretty interesting little place. So let's head into Magic Kingdom. Here we go, we are headed to the ferry boat. It's a little bit after 12 noon and it is 92 degrees outside. We got a storm coming in, I got my umbrella with me. I did drive through a little bit of rain. The rain's not here yet. So hopefully it holds off for a little bit at least, but I believe that there will be a rainstorm today. You can kind of see some of the storm clouds behind us. We're getting on my favorite ferry boat, the General Joe Potter. And I just noticed something really interesting about it. Let me get upstairs and show you what I found out. So on the upper deck of the General Joe Potter, there are two right. smokestacks and kind of a lot of space in between them here. But then if you look over here at the Richard F. Irvine, one of the other ferry boats, there's only one smokestack and not as much space between the stairwells. So I wonder if that means that this boat or this ship, is it a ship or a boat? It's a boat. I wonder if that means that this boat is bigger than the other ones. It definitely feels bigger up here. Like so much more space on the upper deck. Also I wanted to show you the storm that's rolling in. I mean, we'll still have fun, but we might get a little wet. The good news is I'm wearing every piece of clothing that I'm wearing is moisture wicking and fast drying. So that'll be good. Man, look at that storm rolling in. It's gonna be a big one. So I did ask somebody and they said that this boat is slightly taller and slightly heavier and slightly longer than the other two. So that's the Joe Fowler going across right now. One smokestack, a little bit smaller than the Joe Potter. From the music, it sounds like a cavalcade is coming down Main Street. So I wanna get inside, see if I can catch it. I thought that for sure them playing You Ain't Never Got a Friend Like Me would mean that they were doing some sort of cavalcade down Main Street. I guess not, but now that we're inside of Magic Kingdom, they're playing a different song. Well, there you go. Also wanted to point out that the railroad is still closed. You can't even get up there to look at the train at this moment. Yeah, from way back here, I do like the new colors of the castle. I think it really makes the castle pop. And also it kind of plays off of the different colors down Main Street too a little bit better. Before the castle seemed kind of dull. Now it looks new and fresh and also, uh, Sources of the Magic Kingdom looks like it's still open. I just saw a family come out of the firehouse with some new cards. So yes, Sorcerers is still going. So check this out. This window display is really fun. If you're a kid, you can check on how you look in a Mickey Mouse ear hat with this little mirror down here. How do you guys look? I can hear some music down by the castle. So I think that does mean, that for sure means that a cavalcade is coming. I don't know which one it is though. We're gonna have to get a little bit closer to find out. I've been looking for secluded spots that maybe I could go back and eat some food at. And down here, like I'm, at, I'm down a little side street. Crystal Arts is where I just showed you. Main Street is behind me. There's a couple of tables down here, three tables. There's about three tables down here that I could come back and bring some food and eat back here and there wouldn't be anybody around me. Maybe we'll do that one day. Looks like it's the Mickey and Friends Cavalcade. Hi, Pluto. Ooh. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Donald. So I have a bit of a conundrum. I want to get on a ride, but I don't want it to rain while I'm on the ride. I want to make sure that I have some shelter during the rain. The rain's going to be here within like five or 10 minutes. So. We might just kind of wander around a little bit, try to find a good spot to get out of the rain and then get on a ride after the rain is done. Fun fact about me, and I don't know why I was this way when I was a kid, but one of my favorite things about the Magic Kingdom when I was younger were these little horses here. I have no idea why I love them, but I did. I think in my young childlike mind or child, like my young mind, I thought that they were just going to have horses like tied up on Main Street here. They never did, but boy can dream, right? As we are headed into Adventureland, the cheeseburger spring roll cart is not open currently. Can't wait till they open this one back up again because I have been missing me some cheeseburger spring rolls. Ooh, I wonder what's going on here. This is right next to the Sunglass Hut in Adventureland. This was just like another merchandise location, but it looks like they're doing some work to it. I got a few questions about Dole Whips in the Magic Kingdom and Dole Whips are still available. 
You can see people waiting to get some right now. Theme park duck waddling through the streets. Where is he going? Probably to find some popcorn. Came down to see the wait time for Jungle Cruise. It is a 35 minute wait, but directly behind me, the magic carpets of Aladdin just made an announcement that said there is a strong weather front approaching the Magic Kingdom and that Magic Carpets of Aladdin could close without warning. So be prepared. So I'm not gonna get into line for Jungle Cruise just yet. Ooh, just walking by Pirates of the Caribbean and it looks like Captain Jack Sparrow is having a meet and greet out here. Not really a meet and greet, but he's just kind of standing out here being Captain Jack. I made it around into Frontierland and it hasn't started raining yet, but I could see it happening any moment now. You just feel it in the air. It's starting to cool off and it's starting to get darker. So this body of water is called the Rivers of America and that island straight across there is Tom Sawyer Island. And to get there, you have to take one of these rafts across the body of water to get over. Looks like they're not running them currently, most likely because of the storm approaching. And just to give you guys an idea of where we're at, Splash Mountain is right behind us. And Big Thunder Mountain is just off to our right now. All right, there it goes. Time to find a spot to hide out. Certainly isn't as bad of a rainstorm as I thought it was gonna be, but we are still getting a little wet. I'm going to head towards the castle to see if I can see the direction that the storm came from see if it's gonna be clearing up anytime soon. Oh yeah, it looks like it's gonna clear up just a few minutes here. It already stopped raining for the most part. It's still kind of drizzling a little bit, but the heavy rain seems to have stopped. One of the last times that we were here, there were numbers all along the side of the castle notating what colors to paint certain bricks. And it looks like they have finished and covered up all of those numbers, at least on this section. Ooh, those new castle colors after a rainstorm. Looks good, nice and reflective. I bet you this would look awesome at night. I came over by Mine Train to see what the wait time was. It's a 30 minute wait, but it would have stacked up because it would have gone down for the rain. So I wonder if it's greater than 30. They just haven't updated the sign. I also wonder if it's running again yet. Oh yeah, look, it is running. Got people on it right now. Well, now that it's done raining, let's get on Dumbo. It's only a five minute wait. Want to get a Dumbo or an elephant that's pretty far away from everybody else. Oh no, it's a little bit wet. Gonna have a wet butt for the rest of the day. Get ready to take I am ready. Here we go. We're doing it. We're riding Dumbo. Whee! Oh, starting to slide a little bit to the outside. Oh wow, look at that storm getting ready to roll in. Looks like we're not done with the storm yet. This is good. I like this. We're riding ride. Feels good actually. It's actually very like nice outside right now. Because it just rained, took some of the heat out of the air. And now we're just kind of like feeling the cool breeze as we fly on a flying elephant. Oh. Oh, Timothy Mouse. Here we go. Well, that was fun and exciting. I liked it. Ooh. Also felt nice and clean after the rain. I came over to see the Tron construction and it looks like the walkway is open further than it normally is. So we can get a better view of Tron now. Wow. And they're not doing any work on it currently because of the rain, I would imagine. Maybe they're working in... Oh no, you can see some, some construction guys down there. Wow, this looks awesome. Ooh, it looks like they've started to put up some of the framework for the... I don't know, the awning, the Pringle that's going to go on the outside. So if you guys haven't seen any POVs of this ride, it's actually really interesting because it exits... There's a launch down on the bottom down here and you launch out in this direction and you come up around this curve here and then you turn and head back into the building at the top of the building. Right there. Wow. This will be real fun. Does look like they've got quite a bit of work to do on it though. They're definitely further along than I thought they were though. 
Just getting into Tomorrowland, and I looked up, and it looks like the People Mover still is not running. Dang. It's been missing me, the People Mover. Also, it kind of looks like Astral Orbiters is not running either. So we did get official word that Stitch's Great Escape is not going to be reopening. I don't know what that means for Stitch's Alien Encounter and Character Greeting. I know that we won't have it currently, but maybe in the future they will go back to meeting Stitch at this location. Yeah, feels good after the rain. This is kind of strange. There's a cord in the water. Almost looks like maybe like a pool creepy crawly. It kind of looks like it's moving around. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just left over from some construction. I wonder what that is. Oh, look at that. There is nobody over in Tomorrowland Terrace. Wow. I thought this place would be packed. Kind of feels like there's another rainstorm coming in. I feel some drops. It's still kind of drizzling a little bit, but I'm going to try to head over to Jungle Cruise, see if I can get on that before the next big storm comes through. Still says it's a 35 minute wait. It's about 1.45. We're going to get in line right now. We'll see how long it takes. Pretty excited to get back on the Jungle Cruise after a long time being away. Hello everyone, welcome aboard the world famous Jungle Cruise! Yay! We're beginning our tour here on the Amazon River in the Amazon Rainforest. Now it's more of a mist forest, so you may have missed it. Uh, if you look on either side of the boat, you'll see some of our Amazonian butterflies. Now they have a wingspan that can range anywhere from 12 inches all the way up to a whopping one foot. Oh. We call them the rulers of the jungle. <laughs> but we're now on the Congo River and I've been working with a pygmy tribe to plan you a welcome party. And look, there they are. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> I can't see anyone. Canoe? Oh. I mean, it's really not like them to not show up though. Uh, something must have scared them off. Like, um, Oh, like the python there. You know how we can tell that's a python and not a boa? No feathers. <laughs> I hired these guys to break camp for me, and I think they're doing great. They've uh, broken just about everything. <laughs> I couldn't get that Jeep to start, but it looks like they got it to turn over for me. Well, we are now on the Nile River, which is the longest river in the world. It goes on and on for Niles, and Niles, and Niles, and if you don't believe me, well, you must be in Africa. Uh, over here, we have an African elephant. Anyone know how we can tell it's an African elephant? We're in Africa. And over there is its mate. Now, it looks like they've been separated by the river. Does anyone know how to make an elephant float? Lots of ice cream. I'd like to talk about these sandstone rocks. And the reason I mention them is people sometimes take them for granite, which is a shame, too. They're one of our boulder features. And there you can see some lions looking out for a sleeping zebra. Now, I know what you're thinking. Uh, he looks dead. Uh, tired. <laughs> Dead tired. Yeah. Let's let him rest in peace. Oh, <laughs> that's where those guys went. I told them there's nothing in the jungle that you can outrun, but what a ride now. Uh, they didn't believe me either, but it looks like they'll get the point in the end. Everyone say hello to my friend, Ina. Hi, Ina. Oh. And up ahead there is Schweitzer Falls which was named for the famous explorer, Dr. Albert Falls. But don't worry about remembering that. We'll go over it later. Uh, I've heard more water goes over those falls in a minute than you can drink in a lifetime, but I find that sort of hard to uh, Well, people often ask, they say, hey, Skipper Amelia, how to land your drive here at the Jungle Cruise? Well, I think that's plain to see. I took a crash course. Uh, I'm just sort of out here winging it. Uh, sadly, though, that's the tail end of that story. My career really hasn't taken off the way I hope. Uh, they keep saying maybe there's someone we can propel her, but nothing's worked. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Looks like we're surrounded by hippos, and those can be dangerous. In fact, it looks like they may try to charge the boat, but don't worry about it. I only take cash. Well, we are now heading into Headhunter territory, and that is a terrible place to be headed. 
Up there, you can see the Umbala tribe performing one of their secret rituals. Now, this is a very rare opportunity. You're the only people who have ever seen them do that particular ritual and plan to tell about it. So I guess you all know what that means, right? <laughs> yeah, we're in trouble. Everyone, get down. <laughs> This is a moment you've been waiting for. Why, right here, we have the eighth wonder of the world! The back side of water! Now, some skippers here will tell you that's called O2H, but I'm not one of them. I only make chemistry jokes periodically. Oh, oh, oh. Well, we are now on the Mekong River in Cambodia, and you may want to hold on to the next part of the trip. This could get unpleasant. You see, we are heading for a root canal. <laughs> well, everyone, after a cruise like that, I really guess there's only one thing left for me to tell you, and it's the same thing my parents told me on my 18th birthday. They said, uh, you know, it's been fun, but we just feel the uh, free ride is over, so gather your belongings and get out. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> wow, that was rude. I meant, um, <clears throat> please, get out. Oh, I forgot to tell you, it took us about 20 minutes to get through the line, so it wasn't a 30-minute wait. But it looks like we picked the best time to get on because now the line is way out the door and almost all the way back to Magic Carpets of Aladdin. So Jungle Cruise was really interesting. It seemed like they had a fairly extensive rewrite on the script. There was a lot of different jokes in there, a lot of new jokes. Some of the same ones like backs out of water and things like that, but there was a few in there 
that they didn't mention anything about. I thought that was interesting that it was just a little bit different of a script now. So still a fun ride. Definitely enjoyed riding the Jungle Cruise. Well, good news. It looks like the storm has dissipated. I've never stood over here. I'm in Frontierland right now, looking past the Liberty Bell at Haunted Mansion. Look at that shot of Haunted Mansion across the river there. It looks so neat. Also, I think that Tom Sawyer Island is open now, so let's head across and have a look around. All right, we've made it over to the dock. We're gonna head over to Tom Sawyer Island. We gotta get on one of these rafts and they'll take us over. Well, I made it up to the front of the line. I would have been next to be on the raft, but we're waiting on the Liberty Bell to go by. And we are getting on the green dot. There's only three on the boat, so three parties at a time. So it is taking a little bit of time to get across the river. We're not going very far though. We are headed right over there to that dock. So it takes about 30 seconds to get across the river, but probably waited about 15, 20 minutes to get a boat. Uh, it seems like there's nobody over here on Tom Sawyer Island. Oh, I can't go down by Aunt Polly's. Gotta go up here to Hickory Switch Hill. Dang it, I darn steps. There's a playground over here that actually Jen and I took photos at during Dapper Day when we came all dressed up. We'll put a link to that video in the description down below. But right now, it's closed. It's definitely strange being in the Magic Kingdom and not seeing another person around. Oh, this bridge is closed, which led over to the other section of Tom Sawyer Island. Let's see here. So we would have been able to go over to the fort but we can't now because the bridge is closed to Fort Langhorn. So it looks like we can just kind of hang out here. They put a trash can in front of the barrel bridge so you can't go into the barrel bridge. Looks like the caves are still open, but this is the exit to the cave. Let's see if I can find the entrance to it. So I was able to make it over to Aunt Polly's, which is rarely open, but we were able to eat here once and we'll put a link to that video in the description down below. It's a nice barbecue sandwich that we had. Some tables over here. Sit on the river and watch the boat go by. Also another great view of Haunted Mansion from here. Oh, I've never even noticed that. There's a, there's a wreath on the door. I don't know how good this camera will zoom in on it. Huh, that's interesting. Of course, this is not the front door that you go into for the attraction, but it is the mansion's front door. So you enter in through the, I don't know what they call it. These are, it's like the servant's chambers. It's like the butler's entrance that you enter in underneath, off to the left there. There definitely are some interesting views from Tom Sawyer Island and some nice places to relax. There's a couple of rocking chairs down here, covered area, secluded and quiet. Well, I found the entrance to a mine, but it's closed. So looks like we can't go inside the caves. Crooked little bridge. Where does this go? I think this leads up to the top of the windmill. Let's see. Let's see where we end up. Oh yeah. We made it to the top. Ooh. Yeah, and then we just go back down and go out the exit. It's hot in here. Oh. I think I found a cave that we can go into. Let's give it a look. Ooh, it's creepy and very dark. I cannot see anything aside from these occasional lights. Ooh, opens up into a much larger cave. I think, right? I hope there's not stairs in here because I can't see them. I like the creepy noises we got going in. Ooh, real tight tunnel over here, but I think it just pops right back out on this side. Yeah, I feel like this would flood in the rain. Well, this is nice. Wow. So where do I go? All right, it's getting tighter, but we're going back uphill which is nice. Ooh, we're in another, ow, I ran into the wall. We're in another larger area here. 
It's like a little bridge here. Okay. This is actually quite frightening. Because I really can't act ran into the wall again. I really can't see anything. Oh, I'm stuck. There's like a really tight squeeze right here. Let me just squeeze through it. All right. All right, we made it. This cave is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. I thought it would be out by now. I feel like I can start to see daylight though. We're almost there. Oh, look, daylight. Ooh, we made it through a whole cave. So is this where, oh yeah, this is where we were. Where the exit only was. So we made it, we found the cave that we just exited out of. Right there, near the barrel bridge. Huh, well we did it. Nice work everybody. Well normally there's a lot more to do on Tom Sawyer Island, but it seems like a lot of it's closed right now. So let's head back over to the mainland. Just kind of walk around a little bit more. It's getting towards the end of our trip. Just want to see if there's anything else that we missed. Also, it cleared up beautifully. Not a storm cloud in the sky. Lots of clouds, but no storm clouds. Another thing to note that is if you are looking for Chip and Dale, they will sail around the rivers of America on this raft right here. I don't know if they've been out today or if they're coming out today, because like I've said before, there are no times available so that these character interactions or these cavalcades will just kind of show up out of nowhere and be a surprise. I might try to do one more ride today. Magic Carpets of Aladdin. As long as I can avoid getting spit on by this camel. It looks like they're cleaning it right now. Looks like it's going to be a little bit of time before the next ride goes on because they'll spray it all down and then they'll run it without anybody on it for a little bit to let it dry out and let the disinfectant do its work. So let's head over to Main Street, see if there's anything going on on Main Street. Still no Casey's Corner hot dogs. One day, one day we'll get a hot dog again. So I came back down this alley where I showed you earlier where Crystal Arts was out at the front on Main Street. There's a little alley back here with some couple of tables and chairs back here. Nice and easy to stay distant from everybody. Very, very secluded. I like this a lot. It was a fantastic day. So even though they did open up more reservations for annual pass holders, still very easy to maintain physical distance from everybody around you. Not very many people in the park today. All the wait times were short. It was a good day. Got on two rides. I wanted to get on Magic Carpets of Aladdin, but I think we just ran out of time. We can always come back. We'll come back a different day and we'll get on Magic Carpets of Aladdin then. But all in all, it was a fantastic day. Really enjoyed myself at Magic Kingdom. Even though it rained, didn't matter. So. There you have it. With that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to help. So today's organization that we want to shine a spotlight on is the Special Olympics. The mission of the Special Olympics is to provide year-round sports training and athletic competition in a variety of Olympic-type sports for children and adults with intellectual disabilities. Special Olympics strives to create a better world by fostering the acceptance and inclusion of all people. So uh, make sure that you guys check out the link down below and if you can, donate. If not, just learning more about the Special Olympics really helps out. They're definitely a great organization and they are making sure that anybody that wants to compete can. So be sure to check them out, share it with your friends and family. Just talking about it helps. And thank you for watching this video.